So Stefan, it was a very stressful day and Camille after all managed to win, but it was very stressful until the end. What do you think about it? Well, uh, competition starts quite good in the first round, was okay for Camille. But David have a little bit hard backwind situation, but make also a really good jump. And the second round was again for David not so good, but he jumped really good today. And for Camille was at the end, starts this hard wind on, on, on deck off. And it was really crazy, so I was a bit nervous then <laughs> what will be now, getting already dark and everything. And yeah, but then wind stops and it was okay. And then Kamil showed really good jump second round, so oh, we are, can be really happy with this day. Were you also hoping maybe for cancellation of the second round before Kamil's jump? It was so long. No, mm -hmm. I, I never hoping for, for cancellation because I want to, or we want to win with two jumps. So then it's more fair competition and yeah, but it was going through and was okay and successful for us. It's difficult for a jumper to keep warm for when he waits so long at the top. Yeah, for sure. It's a bit strange situation when you stay up there, full prepared with your material and have to wait so long time and then this cold wind coming. For sure, you <coughs> cooling out and, and have not 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 this feeling like normal. But Kamil today he managed this really good. Well, what about Stefan Hula? Was he a bad day for him? Yeah, Stefan was jumping not not really good today. I, I don't know why. So uh, find not the, the right push up to, for, on the takeoff and was not really really optimal and also not so lucky with condition. But the jumps were was too too bad today. Uh, Jakub Volne did good job, but he was not lucky. With the uh, Kuba was uh, quite okay, lucky with the conditions, but the jump was not perfect. But he still is a little bit sick. He was not start in the trial round, and, and he feel not really good. So for him was okay, and was a hard, hard competition. And for him, it's learning by doing. In your biggest dreams, did you expect that after two competitions, Camille will have two victories here? No. <laughs> no, no, because I know how hard it is to win the World Cup competition, especially right now when Richie Freitag is in this shape and some Norwegian guys are so strong. <clears throat> but yeah, it, this shows more and more the quality of Kamil Stoch, how strong he could be, and, and shows this work what we made in summer in the training, and he have a stable, good system now, and now it's the time to to go through the whole winter with, with a, a, a form like this. We don't want to ask Camille this, but do you think it's possible to, for him to win four competitions, like Sven Hannawald? <laughs> yeah, for sure it's possible. The chance is there, but we are not focused on, on this to win four times. We are right now in the middle of, of the, the four hill and Camille is leading and two times winning, so we want to continue with good key jumping performance and the rest we will see. Now Pierre will join your team. What are your expectations with, for him? Oh, I don't know. We will see. <laughs> He's a young guy. Oh, so we will see what he's doing on, on the training. And So it's first time for him to start in the World Cup. I saw him in, in Zakopane jumping. This was quite good jumping. So I, I think he can do maybe the same like this young guy from France. <laughs> because there was also a winner of Continental Cup. When he can make points, then, then it's really good. Last question, what is the plan for tomorrow of the team? Uh, tomorrow it's free day, only small small training in the, in, in the hall and the rest is resting. Okay, thank you very much and congratulations.